Tonight we're taking a look at what's making headlines across Indiana. We begin with new developments in the investigation against the state's Attorney General Curtis Hill. Attorneys for Hill are coming out swinging and they are threatening a defamation lawsuit. Our State House Bureau Chief David Williams has a story. Indianapolis attorneys Kevin Betts and Sandra Blevins say they haven't filed, but they're thinking about filing a defamation lawsuit on behalf of Attorney General Curtis Hill. In May, four women told lawmakers Hill inappropriately touched them at a March legislative end of session party. Lawmakers then hired a law firm to put together a confidential report about what happened, which was leaked to the media. Hill's attorneys took square aim at the memo. This defamation is against the unknown individuals who included this false and malicious information and who released this false and malicious information. Hill's attorneys call on lawmakers to do three things. Correct the memo that contains, quote, false and malicious information, find out who included the info in that memo, and reveal who leaked this false and malicious information. In recent weeks, three of the four women have come forward publicly. Democratic State Rep. Mara Candelaria Reardon, Senate Democrat Spokesperson Gabrielle Macklemore, and Nikki De Silva, who works for the Senate Republican Caucus. Today, Blevins claimed there are inaccuracies in the women's statements. The memo states that Attorney General Hill placed his hand under Representative Reardon's clothes <laughs> twice, and she specifically denies this in her personal statement. The memo also states that Attorney General Hill groped Ms. De Silva on the buttocks, but Ms. De Silva denies this in her personal statement. Hill completely denies all the allegations and calls them, quote, false and vicious. The Office of the Inspector General has already started her own investigation into the allegations, but Hill's attorneys wouldn't talk about that this morning. At the State House with local news that matters, David Williams, WTWO.